are driven by Jack Brabham, a mighty good omen for British cars this season. London dressed for the occasion all along the royal route, ready for one sovereign to welcome another. Her Majesty the Queen at Victoria Station, just before the special train from Gatwick came in. Now the greeting. The Queen welcomes His Imperial Majesty the Shah of Iran, or Persia, as we always used to call his country. An exchange of greetings, then the presentations. Princess Margaret makes her curtsy. Now Princess Alexandra. The Prime Minister is presented. Mr. Ari Butler, Lord Privy Seal and the Foreign Secretary. After these and other presentations were over, the ceremonies at the station were complete. Except for the inspection of the Guard of Honour mounted by the Grenadier Guard. It was a fine spring day for the state drive to the palace, and all the way crowds were out to enjoy the magnificence and the pageantry. Attended by a sovereign's escort of household cavalry, the royal carriage was accompanied by cheering for the Queen, the Shah and Prince Philip. This public greeting must have been pleasing to Her Majesty's guest. The Shah rules a country threatened by increasing Soviet pressure on the Middle East. And his visit underlines Persia's alignment with the West and friendship with Britain. A warm welcome throughout his stay was assured. His programme was a full one, beginning with a state banquet at Buckingham Palace on the night of His Imperial Majesty's arrival.